Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I'm back out with my friend Larry from Full Circle Ozarks. And today we're going to do a comparison between two different brands of wood chippers. Mine is a Frontier WC1105, made by Frontier, mainly sold at John Deere dealerships, rated for branches up to five inches. And what model of chipper do you have? This is a WC68 made by Woodland Mills, and it supposedly can handle six inch. Yeah. So what we're going to do today is we're going to chip branches, same kind of material, with both chippers. Then we're going to do a comparison between how heavy they are and the horsepower ratings and how big the flywheels are, just basic information, and then talk about our experiences of actually using them, which the biggest difference between them is that one has a hydraulic infeed roller. Mine has no infeed. So. Okay. You ready to chip some wood? Let's do it. I'm Let's excited. Larry's got a DeWalt 60 volt chainsaw. I've also got one, but he got the next bigger size with the 20 inch bar on it. And I brought this little top handle saw, so I'm gonna run his saw and let him run mine, see how we like them. In general, for limbing, I prefer this top handle saw to the electrics but the electric saws are really handy for intermittent cutting. When you're going to make a few cuts, set it down, and then come back a few minutes later and cut again, you don't have to restart the saw every time. What do you think of that little guy? I like it, it's got a lot of power. The two saws that I use the most, I use for power to weight ratio, and that one feels like a lot of power for how heavy it is. And then the 500i is the same story. Yeah. So, what'd you think about the DeWalt there? I like it. I think if I would have rather get the, the the 20 inch on it. The only thing I don't like about these is I wish they used a regular chain. These are a narrower chain, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they've got their reason for it. But I'm not set up to sharpen these. That's why I've got to go get some different files. Or, but it's a nice saw. We just did another video about this Coyote CK2610. Heck of a nice tractor. Especially when you factor in what it costs and the size of the machine and the power it's got. Not too bad. When I first got this, I did a test to see will it really chip five inch material. And it's, it will. Occasionally, depending on the species of wood, it might kill the tractor. And we got no reason to show off today and try to do anything that big. We're just gonna do small stuff like you do every day. Five inch materials, firewood anyway. I got big feet tall. It won't pull itself in even after that. Always the problem with a wood chipper is branches. If it wise at all, it's not going to pull down. Now, the comparison here is the difference of an infeed roller. This Frontier wood chipper is a very simple design. The PTO spins a pulley, which has three belts that run over to spin the flywheel. And that is basically all of the moving parts. The simplicity of design means there are fewer things to go wrong. It's a nice heavy built base. The outfeed chute is adjustable 360 degrees and can be angled up and down. I really like that it has nice placement of some pallet fork slots so I can move it out of the way when I'm not using it. That right there is stopping it. Snap it, now it's done. This means that feeding it is also very straightforward. There is a five inch square opening at the bottom of the feed chute, and if you can shove a branch through that opening, it will chip it. And that is all there is to running this.
First thing I notice right away is the end feed is shorter. Should be easier to feed that way. The Woodland Mills version is heavier and it has a lower footprint and the feed chute is down lower, which seems probably a little bit more convenient for feeding, but it has a lot more going on with it. Instead of shoving your material directly into the chipping wheel, you're shoving it into an infeed roller, which is hydraulically driven. That hydraulic infeed roller is controlled by the red bar you see around the outside of the chute and that's a safety mechanism to keep the machine from dragging you in. So if you pull out on that red bar, it sucks material in. If you push in just slightly, it's in neutral, and if you push in all the way, it will reverse the material back out. I definitely like having the hydraulic in feed, but it's just a different process feeding material and something you have to get used to. Having more moving parts can also mean a little bit more maintenance or potential for something to go wrong, although the people I've talked to who own this unit have not had much problems with it. In a minute, I'm going to switch it to a side view so you can see that hydraulic infeed work. <laughs> We got two piles of chips here. Looks to me like it ground them up about the same consistency. This one spread the pile more, probably just the way the deflector is. Other than that, seems about the same to me. I think so. Well, let's go park them next to each other and, and compare a little bit. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan, let's do it. Just some basic information. The Woodland Mills, I thought would weigh less because it looks smaller, but it's got a lot of extra moving parts, including this, this wheel, a hydraulic fluid reservoir, a hydraulic motor. So this unit weighs about 700 pounds, where mine only weighs about 375. The flywheel on that one is three quarter inch thick steel. It's got four long blades. It's 24 inch wheel. And the, the wheel weighs about 100 pounds. The heavier the wheel, the more momentum it has and the stronger it is. It's it's just a it's a better it's better to have a heavier flywheel. This one has an 80 pound 18 inch flywheel, but it's inch thick steel. And the knives do not extend all the way out the wheel as much. Uh, overall, running both of these, just what are your thoughts? I definitely like the hydraulic feed, but either one of them is going to get the job done. Uh, one might take a little bit more work than the other. <laughs> uh. So when you talk about it, it can actually be a little bit of a hassle messing with the hydraulic in feed, but you don't have to hold the branch the whole time. That's the biggest thing. With this, you're holding on to that branch and it is shaking your hands. You can feel vibration even through a set of thick gloves. Yeah. And this unit's about $3,000, or I think this one is between five and $6,000. So right there is enough to make me say i i financed this as part of the tracker tractor package and didn't do all my research first so i kind of think the wood chipper is an afterthought for frontier it's not a big market for them whereas woodland mills puts a lot of energy on making a good wood chipper overall i think think i would say i'm very very pleased with it i would i would use either one of them but my thought is right now, because of the hydraulic feed, I think I would prefer that one. 
just general overall thoughts. If you're getting ready to buy a wood chipper, just keep in mind it's more work than you might originally think it is. It's time consuming. You have to cut your branches down till they don't have many Y's in them because the Y's tend to get hung up. And it's a good tool to have. I'm glad I have one, but just keep in mind it's actually a lot of work. Most definitely. I know like this one here from Woodland Mills, the feed is a six by eight box. But Brock, like you were saying, when you put a branch in that has a Y on it, they will hang every time. So you have to, you just, it, if it's a straight uh, piece of board or log or whatever, you, it works okay. I really appreciate you having me out here to play with some of your equipment. We've made three videos together about the tractor, sawmill, and this, these chippers. And then Larry has his own channel called Full Circle Ozarks that you should go check out. A lot of good stuff on there. So, Brock, I appreciate you. I appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun today. Maybe, maybe we'll do it again sometime. sometime. Yep. And thanks for watching. I'll put links on the screen to more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.